All right, everyone, welcome back to another Star Wars Galaxy of Heroes video with Fat Phil. And today, I've got three things, for like three pieces of advice for capital games and like what I would do if I was them right now. And I think these kind of apply in like the totality of the game. Like it's three issues that I think really are plaguing Star Wars Galaxy of Heroes right now that I really wish capital games would address. Um, so we're going to get in here and hopefully this video, I think like capital games sometimes just needs to hear things like this because it'll spark things in their brain and it'll and they'll hear it because if you don't think they don't pay attention to content creators whether it's me arnold nooch sanjita calvin fatal all those guys they pay attention to all of us so it is something that they want to be like that they need to hear so here's three things that if i'm capital games i would do this right now but first Let's thank the channel members for continuing to support this channel. Again, if you're ever interested in joining, that link is down below. Again, guys, thank you for just putting your faith in me to bring good, good quality content to Star Wars Galaxy of Heroes. Again, they, they are, you know, they've got their own special section of the Discord, which is also linked. Again, really get exclusive access to Fat Phil himself. So let's talk about these three things that Capital Games should do. So the first one, in my opinion... I would hire Arnold, and I put his two favorite Galactic Legends here as placeholders. If I'm Capital Games, I would have reached out to Arnold ages ago and handed him a blank check and said, help us get players to, you know, like, rally behind us. Because the relationship between Capital Games and the player base is strained, to put it politely. Um, and honestly, a lot of that drives from Arnold. And... I can't say I blame him because if you remember, he had an account that he purchased, so it violated terms of service, but he had spent money on it, like he was streaming from it, and they took it away from him. And if he wasn't as passionate about Star Wars, that would have completely killed the greatest, the biggest, greatest content creator this game has seen. So I don't think, like, I just, I'm, like, they are so lucky that he's done that, but it's caused him to have this huge strain on them. Whenever they do anything, they always exclude him. Like, when they did the content creator versus um, developer GAC, Arnold was obviously not invited to the party. Um, and I, I just, I've always felt this is a mistake. And I feel like, and this was something, actually, I was talking with Nooch, he and I were just having a conversation on the side, and... We both said the same thing. We're like, they should have hired him a long time ago. He has the biggest following. He's the most important part. And imagine you could get him on board. Imagine you bring Arnold and you're like, hey, be our tester. Show us how, what are you thinking? How does this work? Like he the one, he's the one that could fix this stuff. So I would, I would do that if I was Capital Games. Next, I would put the same effort into character releases as we put into the release of Datacrons. And here's what I, here's what I, here's what I mean. Right, so let's go to the screen capture here. I want to. We're gonna change over to the forums here, because I want to talk about the new Datacron set that is coming to Star Wars: Galaxy of Heroes. Right, so it's been covered before, but here's the new Datacron set. Let me just scroll up a bit so my fat face isn't quite covering as much. So you notice on the stats here, the big one that everybody's paying attention to is the deflection chance. Right. Oops, I zoomed in a bit too much. But there's deflection chance in here, which, like, that's fine, right? It's kind of like dodge, but not really because it's special damage, not physical damage. But here's where I say that they need to put the same amount of effort into the release of characters as Datacron. So we've got deflection chance coming. It's only special damage, which is not as many characters, but it is impactful. And there are some, <clears throat> excuse me, some big characters who deal in special damage, Fennec being one of them. But here's the thing. Do you want to know how well thought out this was? Like, truly, you want to know how well thought out this, that adding that stat in as a potential for Datacrons? And I'm going to go to my arena table because I saw one of my shard mates was doing this. Check this out. On the current Datacron set, there is a special accuracy stat. So not only is the next set having special uh, having deflection which is about special damage but the current set has special accuracy this is genius planning by capital games we're gonna get you to wail on the new datacron set to get deflection chance and oh yeah guess what if you didn't go and load up on special accuracy in the previous set time to go do that too so this was a genius move by them 
And I wish that they would put the same effort into the, because it, it, that does take effort. You think of the way the Datacrons get released, the characters that are coming with them, like they very much, very much time it to perfection. That Like the set will end and Bane will be here. Like they've done a very good job of kind of maintaining that because it's a big part of their revenue. But with this current set, you know, going from, hey, we're going to have deflection and oh yeah, guess what? Well, there's special accuracy down here. Like they are trying to make sure that you whale on this set and the next one at the same time. And that to me is exactly how they're trying to maximize revenue. And I just wish that that same effort that went into thinking of these things, putting it in the game, went into, hey, well, one, let's make sure that it'd be nice if our king was better, but um, that it went into character releases. Because I'll tell you what, if Darth Bane comes into the game and falls flat on his face and is either too good or not good enough, it's going to look bad on them. It's going to say that they didn't test, which all goes back to, you know, hire Arnold. But, like, put the same effort in. If you're going to plan that far ahead with Datacrons, plan ahead and test Bane. Make sure that he's working exactly as you want in every single scenario. Finally, sell freaking Zetas. I can't believe that we've had all of these light speed bundles and we have not had a single Zeta. Like, Zeta pack that's worth purchasing. I, I cannot believe that they don't sell Zetas more often. Like, just look. If I want to go buy Zetas, the only places I can get them... Hey, look. They're in the Hyperdrive bundle. Let's see how many Zetas are in here. I can get 10 Zeta mats. Or I can go to this $30 pack where there's three of them and then 10 Omicrons and some other stuff. But, like, there's not a lot of ways to whale on Zetas. Now, I can understand two parts to this. I can understand you don't want to sell Zetas because for a lot of those later stage players, again, think of your Arnolds and the guys in his guild, like they've got every single Zeta in the game. So they don't need more Zetas. So they're not going to spend on them. But all those players who bought the light speed bundles, which is a lot of people need Zetas. And I think that would be a genius move if you were to sell a Zeta pack. I guarantee you, you could sell 20 mats for, I mean, I'd say five bucks, but I bet you could probably get up to 10 and people would still buy it. Like, that's how bad people need Zetas right now. And it just amazes me that Capital Games hasn't put out a Zeta pack, like, once a week with that. Just put it out there for people. Like, I feel like it's the one area where, in many ways, it's very free-to-play friendly. But if you want to improve, increase revenue and maybe ease up on the amount of revenue you try and squeeze out of us in Datacrons and other ways, sell some freaking Zetas. Like, I'd be okay with that. Um... But yeah, guys, those are just three things that I've really, that have been kind of bugging me lately that, I, that I've been thinking about like Capital Games doing because like you see Arnold going and he, he's always testing. He is the biggest creator. He's always doing all the news. Imagine that those posts, like Meathead being that guy who posts on the forums, imagine he's posting an Arnold video that they made. Hey guys, here's an Arnold video explaining all this stuff. Like that would be amazing. I feel like that's exactly what you could do. And then you have Meathead and Arnold kind of working together and like collaborating and stuff like that would be massive again please just put the same effort into the level of releases like and then it's go, go back to the Leviathan and the mess that that was and then you're telling me that you can plan ahead with Datacrons enough to know that you want special accuracy on one because you're going to release deflection chance like let's come on and then finally let's just sell some Zetas let's make it easier for the people who bought those light speed bundles they need that help so again that's the end of the video. Like, subscribe, comment. Love all you. May the force be with you. And I will see you guys in the next one. Cheers.